Hello and welcome to NC Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the 2D pocketing operation. We will pick up this tutorial where we left off on the last tutorial, which was whole machining. So let's go to our machining tab. We are going to add a 2D pocketing operation. We want that operation to be done with our 12 millimeter cylindrical end mill. So we will select that tool for the operation. We are going to mill out this big center hole. Let's go to job assignment. We need to add a pocket. So the best way to add a pocket is to find the edge that defines the pocket and double click and it will generate the full edge or you could click once, hold down control and click again. Come on over to our job assignment and click add a pocket. Now we want that pocket to go all the way down to the bottom of the part so we are going to select the bottom of the part and pick bottom level. Now we need to look at our strategy menu. There are many machining strategies very similar to roughing waterline. We will stay with equidistant. I'm going to put our step over at 15% of the diameter. I'm going to check finish pass and make that finish pass at a quarter millimeter. Down here we can see the top level is zero, the bottom level is 45 millimeters. I'm going to increase that by one to make sure that you get all the way through the hole. Our depth of step is going to be 100% of the diameter of the tool, which is 12 millimeters. We do not need a relief angle. And now I'm going to check our links menu. You can see as the cutter plunges, I would like it to spiral down. And instead of a 15 degree spiral down, I would like to change it to a shallower two degree spiral. Now we can come up and click play to generate the operation. Let's take a look at the tool paths. You can see it's spiraling down and when it gets down to 12 millimeters, it will start to make a circular path out towards the edges. Let's go to our simulation tab and see how the simulation looks. We will slow our slider down a little bit and hit play to watch the tool pass. Looks like a very smooth tool path. Of course, you would have to either have a cutter with some relief after a minimum of 12 millimeters of flute or a cutter that was a full flute. You can see it's just going down below the bottom surface. Well, that looks very good. Now, when you look at your operations, you can see that our tool two was used on our second op, which was the roughing water line. And I would think it would make more sense to move our pocketing operation to just below that roughing water line. That way, you're not changing tools back and forth in reality. 
we have to move that and the best thing to do is just click on it and then move it up. I'm going to click on the machine here and I'm going to re reset all the operations and then rerun all of them at once. That's what you want to do if you are reshuffling any of the operations. Now I'm going to click on home machining number four go back to simulation and I'm going to fast simulate everything up to that point and it looks just like it should all complete up to that point. So this tutorial has been on the pocketing operation. Our next tutorial will be on using 2D contouring. Remember all the models used in these tutorials will be available in a link in the description. Thank you.